Now let's talk about PEA. PEA is the abbreviation for a type of cardiac arrest known as pulseless electrical activity. PEA is an organized rhythm without a pulse where the electrical activity of the heart may appear normal, but the heart muscle is not responding. And what's super unique about PEA is that the heart muscle is completely disassociated from the electrical activity. Any rhythm can deteriorate into PEA, so it's important to closely monitor the patient's pulse, blood pressure, and underlying conditions. Now, remember, performing high-quality CPR is the initial treatment for PEA. In addition to CPR, identifying underlying causes like the H's and T's early and treating them quickly is the key to reversing most PEAs. Now, as I just mentioned, some of the more common reversible causes of PEA can be remembered as the H's and T's. H's are hypovolemia, hypoxia, hydrogen ion, or in other words, acidosis, hypo and hyperkalemia, and hypothermia. The T's are tension pneumothorax, cardiac tamponade, toxins, coronary and pulmonary thrombosis. Now, of the H's and T's, the most common potentially reversible causes of PEA are hypovolemia and hypoxia. And in these cases, it's vital to recognize the conditions early and treat them quickly with volume replacement and oxygen therapy. Remember, PEA is not a shockable rhythm, and treatment for PEA involves high-quality CPR, airway management, IV or IO therapy, and appropriate medication therapy. The primary medication is going to be 1 mg epinephrine, 1 to 10,000 every 3 to 5 minutes, rapid IV or IO push. And in order to correct PEA, the ultimate goal is to identify and treat the underlying cause of the cardiac arrest.